What's up you guys, Steve here with your stimulus check update and stimulus package update and new 2021 taxes update. Now, as you guys know, right now, the third round of $1,400 stimulus checks, they should be hitting bank accounts via direct deposit right now. People are letting me know every day they're getting those stimulus checks, so congratulations to you. And at the same time, we're hearing that right now, Congress is working on the next stimulus package known as the Build Back Better plan. And this plan, they're saying, is gonna be the largest stimulus package that we have seen so far and included in it, they're talking about an additional unemployment extension, a fourth round of stimulus checks and potentially monthly stimulus checks coming out, reoccurring checks. Now, people are starting to wonder, particularly conservatives, how are we gonna be offsetting all this stimulus? In other words, who's gonna be paying for it? Well, we got an answer from President Joe Biden who said, we're gonna be taxing the wealthy. The wealthy are gonna be paying for this. Now, before you say, sounds good to me, all right, let's go ahead and proceed. What we're hearing is some economists are saying that it's not gonna unfold the way that you're thinking. They're suggesting that if you tax and implement some of these laws that are being suggested, it's gonna have a trickle down effect and it's gonna be impacting a lot more people than just the wealthy. So I'm gonna be diving into some articles. We're gonna take a look at some video footage that just came out regarding this to let you know how more stimulus could equal more taxes. So I'm going to dive right into the latest as of today, March 18th, 2021. But before we dive in, if you could do me a quick favor, it'll just take a second. If you like and appreciate these video updates, keeping you up to date on stimulus, unemployment, taxes, the economy, Congress, anything having to do with investing or money, why don't you go ahead and take a second to smash that like button. I would appreciate it. It helps out the channel. Like button, comments, and sharing these videos out on social media platforms to anybody that you think might be interested. It helps me out. Thank you so much. And also, if this is your first time here and you're not already a part of the viewing community, what I like to call the Ram Fam, and you like to join to stay up to date on all those topics, why don't you go ahead and smash the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that way as soon as I upload, you can get notified right away. And be sure to follow me on Instagram as well at steveram3. And if you'd like to get exclusive access to me and these articles before they hit YouTube, consider joining our Patreon group. And always remember that here on YouTube, whenever I respond to comments, you're gonna see a gray stripe on the name. If you don't see that, it's not me. Please use caution. There's a lot of scammers posing as me, trying to steal your information. And also you guys, not sure if you noticed, but right here, there's a blurred gray button in the background and that is the YouTube 100,000 subscriber button. And I unboxed it with you guys yesterday. So if you didn't see that video, be sure to check it out. Just wanna say thank you guys so much for this support and I hope that these videos are informative and helpful. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into some more helpful information. I'm going to get you caught up on the latest regarding stimulus and taxes. So as I mentioned, there is a lot of talk about taxation now as a result of stimulus and we're seeing articles pop up today like this. Take a look. Biden proposes tax hike could hit Americans earning $200,000. Biden is eyeing one of the major tax hikes in 30 years. They're saying what he's proposing is the largest tax hike we've seen in over three decades. Here's another one. Here's how Biden wants to raise taxes on the wealthy and Corporation. So you guys, we're going to be diving into these articles here in just a second. But first, let's hear what White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki had to say about taxation as a result of stimulus. Uh, the president remains committed to his pledge from the campaign that nobody uh, making uh, under $400,000 a year uh, will have uh, their taxes increased. His priority and focus has always been on people paying their fair share uh, and also uh, focusing on corporations that may not be paying their fair share either. So that remains his overarching uh, approach, uh, but there isn't a package yet where we're talking about pay fors yet. So I expect we can have more conversations about that down the road. Go ahead. Jen, thanks. Two questions. One, the Treasury Secretary said yesterday that a wealth tax is something you haven't decided on yet and can look at. Mm -hmm. Is that on the table as an approach to pay for some of the next round of plans from the president? Uh, well, the I know Senator Warren has put forward a wealth tax um, and the president shares. Uh, her view that middle class families are paying more than their fair share and those at the top are not doing uh, their part. So certainly he has a, that uh, shared objective. He laid out during the campaign his own plans for fixing this, which are different from Senator Warren's. But certainly, as we get to the point about discussing uh, taxes and tax reform uh, or reforms of the tax system, that uh, they share an objective. But is that, just to be clear, the se Treasury Secretary said it was something you haven't decided on yet. Is that accurate? That Oh, well, I think it's how, how to pursue it. What I'm conveying is that uh, there is a shared 
uh, view that those at the top are not doing their part. Obviously, that corporations uh, could be paying higher taxes. That continues to be consistent with what the president talked about. He had a different proposal he put forward than the one Senator Warren has put forward. But you know, as, as is always the case with democracy in action, when it's the appropriate time, I'm sure they'll discuss and he will discuss with others what their views are of how to address this moving forward. Well, there you guys have it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. As we just heard White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki say, the wealthy, they're not paying their fair share in taxes and we're gonna be changing that. Now, before we proceed, I just wanna clarify something for you guys really quick. The provisions, the specific provisions of let's say stimulus checks, those are tax free. So if you get a $1,400 check, you get $1,400. Unemployment, now that's considered earned income and that is eligible for taxation unless you collected in 2020, the first 10,200, as you know, is tax-free if you've been following me here on the channel. And we actually got some more info from the IRS just came out. They're gonna be giving us some more guidance, some more forms, and they're gonna be extending out the time that you can file your taxes till May 17th as a result. I'll keep you up to date on that, but I just wanted to clarify that those are specific provisions that have certain taxation. As a result of the entire stimulus packages rolling out, they're now suggesting to help offset that, that they change entire tax laws. And hopefully that this will impact the amount of taxes that are being paid out by the wealthy. But economists are saying that it's not gonna have the impact that you think, that it's gonna have a trickle down effect and it will be impacting the middle class as well. So let's go ahead and dive into these articles and let's see what they're saying. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into some of these articles we were just taking a look at and link in the description below if you'd like to follow along with me. And this one just came out about an hour ago and it says, President Biden has repeatedly pledged to raise taxes on any American earning more than $400,000, but promised as recently as this week that no one making less than that would see one single penny in additional federal tax. But White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki clarified on Wednesday, yesterday, that Biden's proposed $400,000 threshold for tax increases applies to families rather than individuals, meaning that the hike could hit individuals who earn $200,000 a year if they are married to somebody who makes that same amount. Now, Psaki did not specify a threshold for individual earners. Biden is eyeing the next big ticket economic bill as a vehicle for one of the major tax hikes in close to 30 years, according to Bloomberg News, citing a person familiar with the matters. Now, the plan changes include raising the corporate tax rate to 28% from 21%, raising the income tax rate on individual earners that make more than $400,000 a year, expanding the estate tax, creating a higher capital gains tax for individuals earning at least $1 million annually, and paring back tax preferences for so-called pass-through businesses. Now, anybody making more than $400,000 will see a small to significant tax increase, Biden said during an interview on ABC Good Morning America that aired Wednesday, yesterday. You make less than $400,000, you won't see one single penny in additional federal tax. So he's saying those that earn less than $400,000 a year will not see one single penny in additional taxation. However, let's go ahead and keep reading. The article says that the proposed tax increases mostly mirror Biden's proposal during the 2020 presidential campaign, when he vowed to reverse former President Donald Trump's 2017 tax cuts on day one of his presidency. That includes raising the rate paid by corporations and wealthy Americans and making the tax code more progressive. And right there, that's one of the things they're saying could cause an issue. If he removes that 2017 tax cut that came from President Donald Trump, they're saying that this is going to increase additional taxes on corporations, which is could be your employer, which they're saying as a result will have a trickle down effect and could negatively impact um, the middle class. Now reading on, Biden acknowledged that he is unlikely to secure any Republican support for any type of tax increases, but said he would receive Democratic votes. So potentially this could once again be going through the process of reconciliation reconciliation, where there is no GOP support. However, the House and the Senate, which are controlled by Democrats, they'll go ahead and get the majority vote and push this through. This, in addition, could be tied to, as we mentioned before, multiple stimulus checks and unemployment and other provisions that the Democratic Party would like to see pass. Now, any tax increase included in the legislation would likely take effect in the beginning of the year 2022, with some lawmakers wary of the raising rates until the economy is more fully recovered from the 
pandemic. It's unclear what other measures would be included in the proposal, but on the campaign trail, Biden emphasized the need for new infrastructure investments and measures to combat climate change, as well as ways to revitalize manufacturing industries and revamp housing, education, and health care. Now, moderate Democrat Senator Joe Manchin said earlier this meant that he would block the infrastructure bill if the plan included a multi-trillion dollar measure that does not garner support from Republicans, but indicated that he would be open to raising taxes to help pay for the bill. Otherwise, he said the nation's skyrocketing debt could trigger a tremendous deep recession that could lead into a depression if we're not careful. And one of the things that they're weary of right now is hyperinflation. Now, reading on it says the legislation would be in addition to the $1.9 trillion relief bill that Biden signed into law last week, as well as nearly $4 trillion in stimulus measures under Trump. So what they're saying is there is a lot of money that's getting pushed into the economy. $4 trillion came from former President Donald Trump. $1.9 or almost $2 trillion just came from Joe Biden. And now they're suggesting another stimulus package coming up right now that's going to be, we're hearing two, three, maybe even four trillion dollars. So they're saying there's just a lot of money pouring in and we need to figure out some way to deal with all this debt. Now the Nationals deficit totals a record 3.1 trillion for the year 2020 fiscal year and the national debt is now more than 28 trillion dollars. And an analysis of Biden's tax plan conducted by the Tax Policy Center estimates it would raise 2.1 trillion in new revenue over a decade. Well, you guys, as you just saw, this is all unfolding right now as a result of the new stimulus package that's going to be coming out known as the Build Back Better plan that's going to be focusing on infrastructure, could have further unemployment extensions and multiple stimulus checks rolling out. And they're saying all this new money, how are we going to cover this? So as more information rolls out on the taxation as a result of stimulus, I'll be sure to keep you guys up to date here on the channel. And also more information rolling out about unemployment, stimulus checks, what's going to be unfolding with Congress, the economy, investing money, all that good stuff. I'll keep you up to date here on the channel. And once again, you guys, if you made it this far and you haven't already, be sure to smash the like button. I would appreciate it. It helps me out. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Follow me on Instagram at steveram3. Think about joining the Patreon group as well. And you guys, I hope this reaches you well. I'll keep you up to date. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.